In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, one of the questions posted by the user for this particular video which I posted a while back. Now, the video which I posted was how to automatically save the form within Dynamics 365 Customer Service application. So, uh, Gilbert had a question about uh, how, what to do if I enable the auto save for just one form. Is there any solution for that? Now, the, uh, just to give you a br brief context about this particular video is like um, there is a functionality with the dynamic CRM uh, that you can automatically save the forms, automatically save the case form or any model driven app form. Now, in order to do that, in order to have that behavior persisted, uh, there is a, a system setting which you need to enable. So if you see in the screen over here, it says enable auto save on all form. And if you turn this on, then all your forms will be automatically saved after 10 or 15 seconds, okay? So just to give an example, like say, if this is the case form, uh, then if you uh, say open any of the case, which is created over here. So take for example, if this is one of the case, then uh, if you turn on that auto save functionality, what happens is uh, that particular record, if you make an edit, then automatically it will be saved. Okay, so take for example, if this is uh, one of the record which you are opened, and now if I make some change, so the change which I'll make is, uh, let me put in some description. Okay, some description. Okay, now watch over here, this is marked as saved, right? And now I'm just putting my cursor out. The moment I do that, it shows me unsaved, okay? So it has detected those change and it has marked this value as unsaved, okay? Now, after 10 seconds or 10, 15 seconds, what might happen is that this will turn into saving and then saved, okay? If you uh, turn on the auto save feature. Now, let's wait for some more time and see this behavior. Now see, it's saving and then it has turned into saved. So what it has done is it has waited for a certain period of time. And then after that, it has automatically saved the form. Now this behavior we can do by uh, going into system setting and turning auto save on all the forms. Now in Dynamics 365, you can have multiple records, multiple entities and multiple forms created for a specific table as well. Now, in this case, this is G case for interactive experience form. Now there is an, another form case for interactive experience. Now, if you turn on this feature, it will be turned on for all the form for all the entity within your CRM. Now, sometimes you may not want that behavior. Okay. So uh, in this scenario, if say, let's assume if I have a scenario where I have turned on auto save on all the forms for my tenant, and now I just don't want that behavior except for this form, okay? So I don't want the auto save functionality for this form, for rest all it's okay, okay? So in order to do that, you need to take help of JavaScript. Now, you need to build that JavaScript within your system. So how do we do that? So first thing is we need to write a JavaScript. Now I have this uh, Visual Studio code open, okay? Let me say new file and I'll call it as the language as JS. And I'll start drafting the uh, JavaScript, okay? Now here, the first thing for writing JavaScript is you need to write a function, okay? So I'll just zoom this a bit. So function, and I'll just say uh, disable auto save, okay? And then I will pass on the form context. So this is a stock standard CRM based JavaScript. Now here, uh, I'll initialize a variable, which is like basically an argument. I'm passing one argument, and which is taking help of this form context dot get event args, okay? So I'll be getting the event arguments in this particular variable. Simple, if the args, if this variable dot get save mode, is equal equal 70 okay then what you do is like take that arcs variable and just say prevent default 
So this is a simple line of code, which we need to write down. Now, just to give an explanation, that's a function. Function is passing the form context. Form context, we are getting the event arguments. And from this event arguments, we are telling that get save mode equal equal 70, then arcs.prevent default. Now, what is the 70? Okay. So I have uh, in my GitHub, just I have created one uh, repo uh, and I've sh shared some information about what are the possible event mode values. Okay. So for auto save, the number is 70. Okay. So if it detects that argument, of 70, then it belongs to auto save. Now there is a button called a save. There's a button called a save and close, save and new, and save as completed. So if you uh, want to track those event as well, these are the corresponding numbers for that event. Okay. Now for our case, it is just auto save, so we will be happy with this. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this function and save it. Okay. So let me save this in my desktop. So let me save it. So file, save as, and I'll store it in my desktop, okay? And I'll call it as disable auto save. And it's a JS file, okay? Now we have a JS file created. Now what you need to do is like, maybe you go ahead and create one solution, okay, simple solution. So I'll call it as March JS solution. Okay, it can be any solution. Uh, why you need that solution is because uh, you, it's a good practice to have all the changes which you create uh, as a part of the solution. Now, in the solution, what you need to do, you need to add that JavaScript which you have just created. Now, I'll just say uh, new web resource. And from there, I'll just navigate to that JavaScript file. So this is the one which I've just created, disable autosave.js. And I'll just name it as disable autosave. And name as this autosave, that's it. Click on save. And this is the new web resource which I have just created. So just to show you what the JavaScript will contain, it, it has a function name of disable autosave. It is passing one form context. Now this is important. Okay, so let me move this window out. Okay, so here I can see this JS. Right now, what you need to do, you need to attach that JS to this form. Now this form, which you see over here, is case for interactive experience, which is currently uh, enabled for auto save. Now we want to prevent that default functionality. So. Go into the table, go into the case, go into the form, and then go into your corresponding form. For in my case, it is G case for interactive experience. I'll just open the form. And once the form is loaded, we need to select proper area to write our JavaScript. So this is the form which contains various tabs, it contains various controls, it contains various sections. What you need to do is like, uh, you need to select the context of that particular form, okay? Now you can either select a section or you can select a control or you can select this outer area, okay? So this outer area, I'll just select this. So you'll see a outline, okay? So if you see this outline, so that means your entire form is selected. So this is important. Then you go into events. And now we want to write that event on save. Okay. So I'll click on plus event handler. And I'll say event type is on save. And within this library, I will add a library. Okay. Now the name which we have given is disable. I think it's called a disable auto save. Yes, this is disable auto save. So this is the JS, which we will refer. And the name of the function, if we go into the code over here, 
So the name of the function is disable auto save. Okay, and we are passing a form context. So I'll just copy this function name and tick this button, which says pass execution context as first parameter. Click on done. And now the event handler is attached to the form on save event. Click on save and publish and let it publish completely before you make a refresh to your case record. So in the meanwhile, I'll just go into the cases record. And once it is published, I'll try to open one of the record and see the behavior. Now to test the behavior, you know, it's just a wait, you know, you, you just can't test it like auto save functionality just by seeing something in the screen. Uh, it's if it doesn't auto save after a specific period of amount of time, then we can assume that this functionality works for your form. And we'll do simultaneously for other form as well. So what I'll do is like I'll do a duplicate of this tab as well, just to show you the behavior. So once it is published, we should be able to simulate that behavior. Okay, looks like it is published now. So I have two tabs opened. Now in one tab, I'll open say uh, case one record, okay? And for this case one record, I will open in a different form, which has an auto save functionality enabled, which is case for interactive experience, because this is the case for interactive experience form we haven't written any JavaScript for it. So this form is case for interactive experience. No JavaScript is attached to this particular form. Over here, I will open case three. And this case three form, we will open it in uh, G case for interactive experience, which has uh, prevented the auto default functionality. Okay, so let's make some change. Okay, so if I come here, I'll make some change over here and I'll just put some changes. Okay, and I'll just click out. Okay, now see here if it is clicked on save, I'll click out after some time. This is now this has become unsaved. Same here, we will go here and put some change. This is saved. I'll click out and now this is unsaved. Now Let's go into this first tab. Here, what should happen after a maybe 15 to 20 seconds, this should say change from saving to saved. And for G case from interactive, so nothing should happen. Okay, so let's see the behavior. So first we have made this change. So we'll wait for some time. See here, saving, and then it has gone into saved. Same if we go for G case for interactive experience, we have done uh, almost at the same time just like five to ten seconds apart this form has not changed a bit right so we can safely conclude that for this particular form the javascript is uh, enforced and then we we are not able to save the form automatically so that was the whole purpose like in dynamics 365 we have a functionality to auto save the form uh, but it is applicable for all the form and what if we want to use it just for one form this is the solution. So uh, again, just to give you uh, a basic information about how to write a JavaScript. So simple JavaScript function, disable auto save, passing the form context, taking the argument from the get event args, and then put a get save mode as 70, which corresponds to auto save. Now, if you want to see other numbers, what does the event save method looks? Navigate to my GitHub gist, and here you will see all the numbers like 74 to save, save as completed 58, save for one, save and close to, save and new 59. So this is how you basically uh, use this uh, JavaScript to disable the auto save for functionality for some of the forms within your tenant.